क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have did the structure of maltose as well as we have also discussed about the structure of sucrose and now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of cellulose so now let us understand how we can draw the structure of cellulose so now let us find that is how we can draw the structure of the cellulose So we should understand that is cellulose is nothing but a combination of beta fructofuranose. So in that case, we should understand that is the structure of the alpha D glucopyranose first. So in that case, this is the anomeric carbon atom. I am leaving it as it is. And talking about the other, that is carbon atom. This is carbon number two. So here basically we can find that is the OH is attached to the lower one, while the H is attached on the upper one. so or on the upper side that is here we can find that is the oh is attached on the upper side and here there is h so this is how basically i am drawing the structure of the glucopyranose but if this molecule has to be the beta glucopyranose and in that case basically we could find that is the oh that should be attached on the upper side and h would be on the lower one and this is nothing but the anomeric carbon atom so therefore this is what we have we have that is beta d glucopyranose so similarly we could draw the other structure also and that is how basically we are going to draw that is the structure of beta glucopyranose the both it will be the same so in that case i am drawing it here so here basically there is a formation of glycosidic linkage that will occurs but the thing is in maltose we have found that is the glycosidic linkage it was towards the downward and now in case of cellulose there will be the oxygen that is the glycosidic linkage it will be upward so in that case basically we could find that is the oxygen atom should be over here that is on the upper side while here basically we could find that is so here the hydrogen atom will take away this oh So as to form that is H two, and this is how basically whenever the two beta D glucopyranos they will combine with each other, or suppose if they have undergone through a dehydration process, so in that case there will be a release of H two, and there will be a formation of a bond or formation of a glycosidic bond, where we could find that is the oxygen is on this side, while this structure it will get inverted, and that is what we are going to talk about the structure of cellulose. So now let us understand the structure of it. So the structure of the cellulose could be written as that is. i am drawing the same one that is this is nothing but the beta glucopyranose where we have found that is here there is ch2oh here there was h h i will write it here as oh and is yes, there was a hydrogen atom over here and this is how basically there will be formation of a glycosidic linkage that is through this oxygen atom and now this oxygen atom will be combined with the carbon atom of that is one of the carbon atom of the beta glucopyranose and the structure that is what we could get over here is i am drawing the structure which is nothing but the inverted form of uh, the previous one that is what we have written and in that case we have got the oxygen over here but now i am inverting it so therefore the oxygen atom will get over here here there is an hydrogen atom here there will be oh so talk about this other valencies of the carbon atom so here basically we could find that is ch2 oh here there will be h here also there will be hydrogen atom over here so towards the inside here we could find that is hydrogen while here there will be oh and talking okay, about this one so therefore there would be oh over here and there will be h over here and therefore this is nothing but the structure of the cellulose and here basically we can find the glycosidic linkage so talking about the carbon so therefore this is what we have this is the carbon number one this is what we could call carbon number 2 carbon number 3 carbon number 4 carbon number 5 and this is carbon number 6 and towards this one this is carbon number 1 carbon number 2 3 4 5 and 6 on the fourth position of this that is beta d glucopyranose we could find that is this group is attached and this group is attached to the oxygen atom and that's the reason the name of the that is cellulose could be also given as 4 oxygen and to which basically we can find that is the beta gluco pyranosyl group is attached to d beta gluco 
pyrenos and this is nothing but the structure of cellobios and where we can find that is the glycosidic linkage is on the upper side or we could also call it as beta enomer that's it so for this was nothing but the structure of the cellobios and thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe eKeda channel thank you so much